if you say, dude, let's talk about this or what, what about this, anytime, just go for it. If not, I just go on, on my own mode and I'm not gonna stop for an hour, okay? Um, yeah, so, okay, I'll do that. You guys give me no option. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy, okay? And don't wait until the last second to, yo, you know, then like, man, I wanna ask you a question. Just throw it out now, you know? It's, a, it's, it's okay, okay? So, in just one question for all of us who, who do play and love this music. What is one song that we all know? Like a standard song that we can all know and there is some stuff I wanna talk about and maybe we can use this song as a, the canvas, you know? Just throw out songs. A, a song that everybody knows. Yeah, don't, what is it? Autumn leaves. Autumn leaves, everybody knows autumn leaves, everybody feels familiar, yes? No, yeah, let's put some energy, can we? Hello, people in the screen, yeah? Yeah, can we wake up? Coffee, anybody? We've been, come on, come on, people, yeah. Autumn leaves, everybody's cool, yeah? Yes, everybody's cool? If it's, if, you, if you're a man, I don't know, I don't like that song. Say it now, so we look for another one, okay? I don't like this song. <laughs> okay. okay, then I have a question. I have a question for you. And yeah, why why you don't like the song, bro? Why is in the song that you're like I don't like this song? You hear it a lot. It's not that long. It's a good song. Yeah. You hear it a lot. It's, or you have heard it. Yeah. Over so. I still like it. Okay, it's a nice song. So this is a song uh, that teaches something. Um, um, and there is an exercise we're gonna start with. Any singers that are warm up already, ready to ready to sing? Yeah, okay, just come up, bro. You know, uh, and and also any I, no no tenors today, no horns. I guess no altos, nothing. If you have your horn here, go get it, okay? Because I'm gone in two days and you won't see me ever again. So this is the chance. <laughs> yeah, trumpet, we got it. It's good. So. There is a, a very quick exercise I'm gonna share with you about, um, about uh, this, which I learned from a, a great master with Greek background, although he was American or lived in America, I don't know where he was born. His name is Charlie Banacos. He's gone now, but he's, um, he was a master. And he has this exercise where um, we are gonna apply over autumn leaves. And the exercise, come in, just come in, okay? Come in, sit here, don't hide, yeah. And the exercise, we learn it from a song like um, All the Things You Are, you know? Uh, where like, if somehow we analyze the A section, we see that the melody is the thirds of the chords, right? That's it, whole notes. So our exercise and our first challenge today is this, is let's take a solo, one chorus each, okay? Where in every downbeat of the first beat of every bar, we play the third of the chord, okay? And then, and then, we can we can fill in in and out whatever you know this is the first thing third on the first beat uh, it's a good way to also learn a piece if you're dealing with some other um, tunes with crazy harmonies it's this is a good thing to start okay think of the third and then fill it up third and fill it up or fill it up but make sure on the downbeat of the first beat of every bar you hit the third okay um, it's not easy and it sounds so nice and it's so um, somehow easy to make music with this, you know? So I'm gonna try to do it for one chorus. You're gonna do it for another chorus, yes? Okay. And then can we have some trumpet and a vocalist? Is that okay? Yeah? No horns today? No saxophones there in the background? No? Hiding? No? Okay, great. 
Um, so the singer, I have no COVID, so you can use this microphone, okay? Or you, she, we can have a couple of singers, okay? Two singers and then we move into the next thing, okay? Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. You wanna hold this microphone so I don't drop it? Yeah. Nice. People wake up, eh? Wake up. Yeah, yeah. Energy. I, I hear energy. If you, yeah. gonna go straight to the blowing okay and that's what I'm gonna do third third on the here's another microphone is if another if a singer just feels the call just come up and do it okay please I need you guys I need your energy don't look at me like you're in the zoo watching the, chimp, watching the chimpanzee okay although I, I'm one but I need energy I need energy one two uh, uh, uh. sound great you can do all the stuff you're fantastic but you're practicing you sound great because you're practicing the stuff you know now we find something that kicks our butt let's face it let's deal with it okay so what we want to do is do the exercise we okay. said we will play the third of each chord in the first beat of every chord for that we want to take the tempo down because we're doing it for the first time so one two one two exercise <laughs> Keep going, keep going. 
Okay, beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Fantastic. So, yeah, no clap, we lose time, we lose time, no clapping, no clapping. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, one thing, you sound great, it's all good. The other thing, I said I will do this exercise. I record myself, I go listen, then I, well, I ask the question, did I do the exercise right, okay? If we did or not, well, that's one thing, and if we did, that will help us grow, you know, we set up, in a challenge for ourselves and we said we will do this now i have 10 minutes i can practice this is what i do in 10 minutes i just work on this okay if i couldn't do it well then maybe it's because i didn't focus enough because i need to bring the tempo down because whatever we find the reason why okay but uh, saying this applies for everything you know i will i say i will do this exercise and i do the exercise okay i don't lose uh, time and energy and focus doing the stuff I know how to do, okay? So, I'm gonna use this this uh, board and bring it here in the middle. Can you guys see it from there? Guys and girls, no light, but what about here is not good. The lighting is funny, of course. For the camera, yeah. Okay, we're gonna cover you for a second. Maybe you wanna move, bro. Uh, now this is awful. <laughs> bueno, okay. Eh, brother, yeah, dame el micrófono. <laughs> okay, hello all, uh, all the TV uh, watchers. <laughs> brother, I'll be right back. This is backstage. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, one thing I was uh, just thinking about while listening to people play, you know, uh, including including uh, myself and everybody alive in this, in this planet, is, um, yeah, you know, um, we study jazz, we go, we love jazz, we go crazy with the lines. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna hit all that cool shiza, right? We wanna kill, uh, hit all that, uh, that killer shiza, yeah, right? We wanna, yeah, kill, smoke that up, yeah. So that's great, we gotta do that. We practice, we, we transcribe the leaks, we practice the tempos, maybe we, the best case scenario, we take it in the 12 tonalities, you know, and all of that, great. All of that language thing we learn, you know, we, we learn from the records, from the solos, is what I call, and what my teacher, Ed, calls, through composed material, through composed. I call it TC today, for uh, the sake of time, okay? Okay? Um, through compose the language of bebop through compose okay post bop through compose this is ideas idea after idea okay uh, no repetition idea just uh, making the changes through compose okay that's one thing which we all train and we all like um, you know, we are all thirsty for that, you know? Great. But um, one thing I haven't been hearing too, 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 too much, um, and it's all good. It's not that it has to be there, but I would like to address it because there is a thing that makes this sound even better, you know? And there is another thing that is the contrast of this true composed material which makes this true composed killer material that you guys all know sound even better, okay? And that thing is what I call, and my teacher call, motivic development, okay? So, uh, can somebody let me know about the time? Now and when we have, 30? Oh, fantastic. Okay, so, Motivic development, right? This is uh, this is what I wanna I would like to talk about today for a little bit. Um, the first thing I would like to do is uh, this is drum this is drum language, right? This is rhythmic language. Is to come up with a good motive with a good idea. What is a good motive and a good idea? It's a short statement, a short phrase that contains two or more rhythms, a short phrase, one bar, okay? One bar, or one bar and a half, no more than that. Contains two or more rhythms. Don't tell me da ba da da 
that's all good, but we can do better, you know? We can do da, 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 da. Or we can do da, 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 okay? Or we can do da, 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 okay? There is, a, there is a variety of rhythmic content, of rhythmic language in there, okay? And we can, this is good materia prima. We can work with this, you know? This has a lot of potential to be exploited and to be developed, okay? When we have this variety of rhythm. So I'm gonna write here motif, okay? Two or more rhythms, different rhythms, okay? Okay, so, so one thing I like to do, it's, um, you know, it's hard to come up with motifs all the time, you know? And this is what I like to do is I oil this part in my brain, you know, and in my creative part so I can access motifs easy on the spot, you know. As is, I interrupt you for a second, bro. I'm going to sit down. I ask you, can you give me a little bit of time, bro? Just time, time, okay? Go, chill on the time, yeah, chill on the time, yeah, thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one motif, I'm going to breathe, I'm going to relax, and then I'm going to do another motif and another motif. Different motifs, okay? Sit down, guys, come in. There is empty places and no one has COVID. So I do one motif, I breathe, I do another motif. I breathe, another motif. What I want to do is each motif I hit is a little bit different. Keep the time, bro. Keep the time going. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, don't laugh. This is cool. This is serious. This is what we do at home. You cooking, you put the metronome. Have it going all day long, you know? You go to take a shower, metronome is on, you know? All day, you there, yeah. So, so yeah, I try to not re be repetitive, you know? Okay? Try to come up with different motifs, okay? Yeah, example. I'm not thinking about tonalities, free melodies. I'm thinking about rhythmic content. Okay? Gracias. ¿Se entiende? Just, the, each one comes out different. You know, it's not easy to do. It sounds very stupid. It sounds very, what is he talking about? It's, sit down, try it at home. Put the metronome, relax, record yourself. You want to come up with each time that you play, it's a different vibe, a different motive, charged with different rhythmic information, okay? So the first thing I want to do is talk about this that I call, and my teacher Hal calls variation, okay? Variation. Variation is same rhythm, different pitches, okay? So now I'm going to just do one motif, one motif, and I'm going to develop it twice, okay? One motif with two variations, and then I change the motif. One new motif with two variations, okay? And I do that for five, ten minutes. Time. One, two, one, two, three. The rhythm stays the same. I could start it in different parts of the beat, but the rhythm stays the same. That's, that's this, the, this is the exercise, okay? Different pitches, yeah. Okay, thank you. Like this, do this. Do it for 20 minutes, do it every day, variation. Then uh, there is a thing called extension. Extension, okay, uno, dos, extension. Extension is we add, we add new material, okay? We have the motif, the original motif here. We can add new material in the front or in the back of the motif, okay? We extend it, extension, okay? One, two, one, two, three. I'm gonna do the same. One motif, and I'm gonna add two extensions, and then I do a new motif, two extensions, okay?
new motive. If I don't hear nothing, I don't play nothing. I breathe and I wait for the motive to come. When I hear it clear in my mind, I, I strike, okay? Maybe that's, that's gonna feed me. So this is good, I relax and I listen. I listen if he has something to share with me because I'm totally blank now, okay? extension uh, before in the second one after a very short one in the in the second one anyone wants to try this really quick no fear come on it's it's uh, no we'll keep going it's okay <laughs> third yeah it's okay it's okay um, you know it's okay if, uh, but always you know always try to play and every situation you have to play say yes say I want to play I want to try this yeah let's go let's try to play as much as possible go This is the original motif, right? Da, 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 da. So when I extend it, I can say da, 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 da. But the motif, the original is going to stay the same. But the extension could be either in the front or in the back of the motif. Da, 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 is my motif, right? If I say da, 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 I put the extension before, okay? It's ABC, it's, pre, it's the basic stuff, okay? It's super simple, hard to do. But this is the music uh, pillar. This makes music in a second, okay? We are used to... We are talking about that. Look in the, look in the you know... Um, Look in the look in the rhythm. This is a rhythmic study, you know. It's not about the melody, okay? It's not about the pitches. Then yeah, we will do it in a song. We'll do it in a song. But uh, so three, it's what I call and my friend taught me hal fragmentation, fragmentation, okay? Fragmentation. For fragmentation, we do need a longer motif, okay? A longer motif. Let's say we we can use two, three, or uh, four different rhythms, right? So a little longer, maybe a two-bar motif or something. We can do da, 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 Fragment, just take a little part, okay? So if I have a longer motif, Usually, usually, you can break it in two little motifs, usually, okay? So when we do fragmentation, we can either use the front or the back of this original motif, right? Okay? Just take a little part, fragment that, okay? And number four, and we, we finish here, is one that combines the two before. Fragmentation, extension, okay? So, which is, we take a longer motif again, we fragment that, so we take either the front or the back, and to that front or back, we add new material, in the front or in the back, okay? This is composition, this is composition class, this is when we improvise, we wanna be thinking compositionally, okay? We wanna, uh, we play a solo, we want that solo, if it's recorded and goes to the record, it's good. You will be cool listening to this freaking solo for the rest of your life and you don't have to, oh, that solo is not good, oh, why? No, this makes music, this is instant music. One day your chops are tired, your throat is not going, your lips are wrong, you can go, it's so cold, we cannot move our fingers, whatever it is. You don't need to go into the Bob language right away, you do this. You do, you think and you play music using the motifs, okay? This helps you to connect deep with the music. So, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, we've got that cover. Now what, we, what I want to think about also is when I practice, any question, any complaint? No, we're good, keep going, okay. So here we have the main form of, um, of um, um, we can call that C2, whatever, A or C, okay, of autumn leaves or any standard. If each of these is eight bars, right? We can see this, we have two choruses. So what I do when I practice is like, I map out situations for improvisations, okay? So I say, I'm gonna take a solo of two choruses, okay? And let's say, in the first A, I'm gonna do motivic development using variation, okay? Variation. In the second A, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do true compose, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that nice stuff that we all love and practice and play all day long and transcribe and, and, and live for, okay? Through Compose. On the B, I'm gonna do motive development using extension, okay? Great. On the last A or C or however we wanna call this section, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do Through Compose again. You know what? Yeah, if I love this stuff, this is great. Uh, this applies for comping, this applies for bass lines, this applies for drumming, for comping in the drums, this applies for solos, of course, okay? This applies for life. Um, yeah, so, and in the second course, let's say, I'm gonna do here, maybe on the first half of the A, I'm gonna do true compose, and on the second half, I'm gonna do a fragmentation, okay? Fragmentation, motivic development, great. Okay, that's fantastic. On the second A, I'm gonna go into this vibe of, a, I'm gonna do fragmentation extension, okay? Number four, fragment extension, great. B, I'm gonna go through compose, I gotta go crazy, the solo is finishing, hey. And then the last A, I'm gonna do motivic development variation. We gotta think simple and strong motifs that we can remember. If we cannot remember it, then we gotta work on our muscular memory in the brain. And the more we do this every day, and all this, put the metronome, 10 minutes a day, okay? Come up with motifs, make sure you can remember them. Don't go crazy looking for the motif that, uh, that uh, Colón was looking for. Yeah, just think simple, okay? Simple works, okay. So, if I am uh, um, memorious enough, I'm gonna try to hit the same motif here and here, okay? Now I need to spy this and you guys need to see the band. So, I'm gonna just follow this chart and, and you guys cannot see it now. Um, okay, okay. We cannot have everything in life, you see? Yeah, move, yeah. Yeah, move that conga or give me some motivic development on the conga. Yeah, that's cool. I can see that. You guys can see this? You guys took a note maybe? Uh, remember? Yeah? I can also scream it out loud, okay? Yeah? That's cool. Yeah, because I'm kind of blind. So, what did I put here? Fragmentation, okay? Yeah, this is great. Vamos. Gracias, brother. Gracias, papa. Gracias. Fragmentation, extension, fragmentation. Okay. And this is what I do, you know, I improvise like this. When I'm, when I'm practicing, I have 10 minutes, I say, I'm, let me set up a scenario, let me record it. You go, you record it. Um, and then when we are playing in live situations, if we practice this way, then we don't have to be thinking about this. When we practice in live situations, the music itself tells you, yo, enough TC, give me some motive, you know, or enough motive, give me some TC, this kind of vibe. The balance of music, we need them both, you know? If we hear albums from the earliest um, albums to the, le you know, this is a pillar of music. This makes music, okay? So, here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
So this is the exercise. This is what I'm talking about. I say I will do this. I don't sit down in the piano and I go PS or, oh, this is great. This is not useful to grow, okay? This is not useful to develop. I say I will do something. I put a challenge for myself. I go do it, okay? Um, and if this is, this is, I, this, you know, I skip, I didn't skip uh, things, but I went too fast. I know it's like a, it's like a lot, but uh, you start one at a time. Maybe just map out one chorus. You say, I do variation, extension, variation, extension, or variation, 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 TC. Combine, find the balance, find your, each one of us needs in the ear, you know, the ear asks for a balance. What do you like most? How do you, how do you feel the best? But most important, what does the music needs at the moment to be the greatest music possible? Okay, um, so you know, this is just a, this is just a, what time is it now? Wow, this is fantastic. So yeah, so. Um, if any one of you wants to try some, we can we can set up. We can you know can I erase this? This was just no, this. No. no, you guys want to copy this really quick? Take a picture or something because the time is money. Okay. <laughs> question, question, question. Complaints, complaints, complaints. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, this don't don't get distracted. This is cool. Don't go crazy. Just take a picture and go back to your room. We keep going. Okay. Yeah. 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 Question, brother. I need questions, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In the back first. Yeah. True compose. True compose is where I go and I don't. I don't repeat ideas. It's the opposite of motifs. Motifs is I take one idea and I work with it. I repeat it. Repetition is the best thing that could happen to our lives. Repetition. You know, every day the sun repeats itself. We repeat ourselves. Of, of course, we change it. But repetition, repetition, repetition. Don't get tired. You know, it's not stupid to repeat yourself like this in music. If I say da ba da you know that what's coming up. ba da da Repetition, bro. That's good. That's a fundamental. Okay. So true compose is everything that is not that. Okay. All the lines, all the lines you play, all the beautiful stuff you transcribe from the albums. That's TC. That's true compose, brother. Yeah. Uh, Leo, well, how how to uh, memorize the whole plan for? You don't need to memorize when you practice. Exactly. Right. Right. I don't know if you guys use music paper still or if you just use the computer, but. This is what Wayne Shorter told me to do. Don't use loose paper. Don't use loose paper like this. This is loose paper. This wind blows, this gets loose, and that's it. Buy a book. Buy a book with a hard cover. Fill it up. Fill it up with your tunes, okay? Fill it up with exercises, with lines, with whatever you want to put in there. Like buy a book, a music book. When this book runs out of room, what you do? You buy another book. I have a collection of books at home, okay? You write ideas, write every day. This is a composition thing. We can write a song out of this. Could be a song. This is a composition exercise. So let's think like composers, you know. Let's make sure the solo gets recorded on the album and we will be fine listening to this forever. We will die happy, okay? This will make our motivic development makes our lives happier. And that's the that's the whole thing about it. You know, the things that you remember the most in the albums, you know, perhaps is stuff that has to do with this, you know. Mm -hmm. The mind recognizes it, the ear recognizes it, it makes you happy. Well, then let's make happy some people, man, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to make some people happy. This is this is our role, you know? Yeah. So um this is what I have to say about this. Um you don't memorize this. When you go practice, you set up a scenario, a different scenario. It, each day could be a new one, you know? And then when you go practice, when you go take a solo in your gig, in your session or whatever, you are not going to be thinking about this, my friend. You're going to be free and so happy because you did your homework. Because the music, you are in touch with the music, you are the music. And the music will ask you, give me this. 
and because you did your homework and all your tools are sharp and clean, you will be able to do it, bro. Yeah. 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 When you go through the section that's through composer, you always play more. Is that on purpose or...? No, just to make a difference, so you hear the difference. I'm being very silly with the examples. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm no. being like extra literal, okay? So there is no doubts. Is that okay with you or you want to play less? No, no, no. Okay, cool. Okay, anybody else? Come on. Bring it up, bring it up. This is the moment, 10 minutes. Last round, clang, clang, go. Uh, well, with PC, with Rube Compose, do you say that uh, it's from transcriptions or anything? And also with modific development, like you hear like good ideas and then you try to copy them or? No, because if you do that, um, no, yes, you can copy everything, but uh, why copy? Just write your own motifs. This is what I do at home too. I go like this, and I have a, I have a book, and I have a book that is just a book, but is can I erase this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this boat ain't going down, guys. Yeah. So this is what I do. You know what I do? I just write motifs like this. This is my motifs. So when I sit at the piano and I'm like blank and I don't know what to play, I have a motif here, you know? And if I want to write a song, I say, that's my song, you know? Motif number one, that's my song. Ta, 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 ra, ra. That's it, that's all I need. One idea, we just need one good idea. The idea in this case comes from the, vari from the variation, not the motivic variation, but the, the, the the different rhythms, as I say, two or more different rhythms in the motif, okay? That's, go that's gonna make a good, strong motif that we can work with it. Um, and where, if I am blank and I say, man, I don't know where to come up with the motifs, go listen to drummers. Go listen to Kenny Clark, go listen to Max Roach, go listen to Roy Haynes, transcribe one bar. That's it, great motif ever, that's it, that's it, that's all you need. Put it down in the paper, fill your page, fill your book with good motifs, man, that's it, that's it. No mystery, no mystery, okay? It's okay? Yeah. Yeah, questions, complaints, good, keep going, okay. So, what time is it? We have seven minutes. Seven minutes, great. <laughs> so, you, you see the way I set up this plan? You, you see the way I set up this plan in my practicing, you know? When I'm practicing, I'm practicing. And when I'm playing, I'm playing. And I tell you, brother, you do this every day, 15 minutes, 20 minutes every day. And then after the day is done, record yourself playing a solo, okay? And then let a week go by, and then you listen to it, and you tell me the difference on your on the on the music you hear coming out of your instrument, and 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 then we we'll talk about it again. Yeah. So next week you'll be here. Okay. No, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going to Slovenia. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so. The way I did this with True Compose versus Motivic Development, I do it with everything, you know? I, everything goes through this filter when I practice, when I practice, because I wanna be, I wanna have the canvas clean and I wanna have all my tools to destroy it. But I wanna have them nice and handy, okay? I wanna have them handy. So, some, let's say I go, um, one thing, I'm just gonna go really quick now, okay? One thing I will think about is like step motion versus angular, okay? Or wider lips, okay? An arpeggio or something bigger than the third, maybe. Here I will go minor seconds, uh, major seconds. Scale motion, up and down, versus angular. First, I'm about my vibe, okay? I say, first A, I go step motion. 
a, the second A, I'm gonna divide it. The first half, I'm gonna do angular into step motion, okay? Like this. Here, I'm gonna go all angular. The last C, all angular. I like angular, yeah, yeah. Then I need to balance. We can know angular all the way, you know? What's gonna make the step motion sound better? Angular, but to cut the angular, I need a little bit of step motion, okay? Like this, like this, and so on, yeah? Clear, one, two, one, two, three, four. What we're trying to avoid is getting to the bandstand and saying, I'm not inspired, I don't know what to play. Or, oh, what do you want me to play? No, we gotta kill this monster that eat our brains. Why, how? Practicing, studying like this, okay? This makes music for the drummers, bro. This is for the drummers. Uh, maybe step motion is like close here, snare and tom, and wider is like playing all the set, whatever. you. Think how this applies to your instrument, okay? <laughs> uh, second, okay? Sorry about that. That was very violent. <laughs> Step motion, angular. I think uh, I think sparse versus dense, okay? Another scenario like this. And everything, uh, everything I practice on a song, everything I practice on a tune. If the tune is too crazy or too hard, then first I just practice with the metronome. No harmonic context. Okay, then I am able to achieve this new territory. What do I do? I do a, a key center, I think model, just one key, okay? Make it easy, just go one step at a time, okay? Uh, if you cannot do the exercise on the tune, bring one notch down, just do it in one chord, then you do it in two chords, maybe then you do it in the first four chords, okay? First four parts, and you build it like this, build it from the ground up, okay? So. I could do sparse, sparse versus dense, okay? In terms of activity, you know? Uh, so I do uh, sparse, sparse, dense, sparse, <coughs> dense, dense, sparse, sparse. One, two, one, two, three. So sparse, <laughs> so sparse, come on! Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Practice like, practice like this. Practice like this, okay? Study. Don't go into the practice room and practice what you know. Practice what you don't know. Practice, uh, you know, cultivate your creativity so we don't step into the bandstand and we are blank. We have to step into the bandstand and we are full of great ideas to share to the world and make a change. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
you gotta go break, man. Yeah, you gotta go practice, bro. Do we come in summer now? Back power? Yeah? I need to look at the time. Okay, yeah, it's time, bro. I think it's 5 to 6. Really? I think so. Everybody 
so much. Jim. <laughs> Hello, Mr. 
Spain? A bit in Nederlands, yeah. Are you going to play? Ik, yeah. What do you play? Actually, I think when I started playing trumpet. So, uh, cool. Okay, you want to listen? I, I want to listen. Cool. Good. I didn't bring two trumpets, otherwise. It's a shame, yeah. Alright, go for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't mind, but I'll keep my distance. We've been sitting next to each other for weeks. Start pianissimo, this tempo, three bars, we make crescendo and decrescendo halfway, yeah? We start on concert F. One, two, three. Yeah. 
Start on the top B flat and then play like like this. Give it a try. Yeah. Just give it a try. Let's do it a little slower. Yeah? Like this. One and two. Step 
but it's just <coughs> further away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To down that direction. Mm -hmm. Half step down again. Two and three. And <laughs>